Hi everybody, I'm James and welcome back to Storytime with James. Make sure you like, subscribe and leave me a comment if you like. And if you would, please bless my cash app. Bless my cash app so I can get more acrylic paint, masking tape and paint brushes. It's for my art, okay? You can view my art at maskingtapetreasures.com. All right. This one, this one is called Saving a Life. All right. Look, there's many, many, many people that die for, for nothing, you know. They die because of drugs. They die because of choking or heart attack or something like that. You need to know some basic CPR. Basic CPR. That's it. Well, at least you can keep them going until EMS arrives or something. You won't just stand in there. But hollering, screaming and hollering won't do nothing. Okay? If you stand in there and oh my goodness, oh, 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 you won't know what to do. All right? Look, someone could be choking or someone could have a heart attack or someone could get electrocuted, you know? You need to learn some CPR, all right? Like thousands of Americans have lost their lives to drugs, you know. A lot of them could have been saved, you know. Well, they have an injection that can give you to bring you back, but before they get there, you got to keep them alive, okay? Like today, at the library, it was a guy walking around fine, walking around fine, and then all of a sudden, he sat down and got incoherent, you know, start flaring his arms, flaring his arms around and stuff like that. And nobody didn't know what, what was going on. And and I went over to him. I said, hey, bro, you all right? You all right? I put my hand on his shoulder and his body was hot and everything like that. And I I kept asking him if he's all right. And then it, his nose, some green stuff came out. So immediately I knew what to do, you know. So actually I got him to the ground, got him out the chair on, and laid him on his back. And he was laboring, breathing, but he was, he was breathing. Okay. Then all of a sudden he was stopped for like two minutes and then breathe again, then stop two minutes and breathe again. Then soon, sooner or later he stopped. Okay. So I started you know, move uh, his uh, his chest, pressing down on his diaphragm to make him inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. I didn't do mouth to mouth, but studies showed that you don't really need to do mouth to mouth unless they completely stop breathing. OK, so I just did chest compressions, you know. To, just to keep them breathing, you know, until EMS got there, you know. And, and when EMS got there, they gave him a narc pen immediately, you know. They gave him a, a you know, that uh, drug that they inject into him that brought, brought him back around, okay? So... Yes, that it's it's a lot of people like that. I've done it many times, many times, you know. Once I I saved the guy from choking one day, you know. Saved the guy from uh he was having a heart attack, but I don't know what was going on with him. But I sustained his life, you know, until the ambulance got there, you know. So you could you could do this. You can do it. But standing around screaming won't do nothing. Crying and screaming won't do nothing. You know. 
So you get to know the signs. Most of the signs, like if they they took a drug and it happened to them, there's signs, you know. And if they're having a heart attack or if they're having a stroke or something like that, there's signs, you know. So, look, all I'm saying is just study, study a little bit and take up a course. Take up a course on on CPR, you know. You know what? I know we we have to do it. You know, have to take courses up on CPR. And and most uh, establishments they get the nasal spray that you spray in their nose. You know, that'll bring them back around if they overdose. You know, and they they got they also got the uh, the things that you. Those electrodes that you put on their chest and it'll, you can kind of bring them back then with that, you know. And they got a lot of things. So at, at your job or, or any establishment you, you're at, if you go there, you frequent there uh, a lot, check with them and check, check in, check with their, with, where their emergency stuff is, you know. You'll be surprised what they have, you know. But if you don't know it's there, you you probably won't do nothing. You probably be one of the screamers, you know, screaming. You know? So uh it's crazy, you know. It's it's real bad, you know. And and with this uh these drugs out here, they are getting bad. You know, they are getting bad, you know, so especially the fentanyl, you know, because they're putting fentanyl in all of these drugs now, you know, all these drugs that people are doing, they're adding fentanyl to it because to get them higher, you know, but fentanyl will overdose you, you know. So you got to watch yourself. And to pre prevent that, don't do drugs. Don't do it. Okay? Because this, this fentanyl stuff is, is really running rampant around here. You may be thinking you smoking marijuana and they put some on that. It's crazy. So to prevent all of that, don't do it. Now I know before y'all, y'all, every time I, I would tell people this, they think that I'm an old fuddy duddy or something like that. Or I'm a mark or something, you know, for telling you not to do drugs. But now you see, they are slipping fentanyl in everything. And it's a matter of time before. It takes you down. So take my advice. Don't do it. All right. This is some uh, sourdough bites. You know, it's sourdough. All right. And some cheddar cheese jalapeno. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Good. I never tried that. With pretzel. Hey, let me get some of that, man. Let me get some. Let me get a little bit, man. Give me a little bit, man. Come go. Oh, 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 oh. Pass me some of that mm -hmm. dip over here. Let me get some of that dip. Let me get some of that jalapeno mm -hmm. dip. Let me get some of that. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. 
Thanks, man. All right, you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so that you know every time I drop another video. And share, share, share. Share my videos with everyone. Share them with your loved ones. Share them with your family. Share them with your friends. And even share them with your enemies. <laughs> All right. Peace. Adios. Salamat. Chair dance. <laughs>